Hey, it's great to have you back here. Uh, looks like we're starting here with question 25 on our practice test. Uh, it says, which statement about magnetic monopoles is false? Well, if I look at here, um, a monopole. A monopole would mean that the magnet only had one end. And we know that all magnets have to go from um, north to south. So is it possible then to have a magnet that is only a north? Well, it's not because it has to, it's north compared to what? What's well, north compared to the other side? The other side would be what we call the south pole. So uh, monopoles do not exist because it would be impossible. All right, got some matching here. The area around the magnet where other magnets may be attracted or repelled. Well, what do we call the area around a magnet? Um, so here's my magnet. And we've got a north end, let's say, and a south end. And, a, and the field is going from north to south. What do we call this area here around the magnet? Well, the area around the magnet is indeed um, the magnetic fields. Um, the wire coil of an electric motor. Well, that's the armature. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, that's not going to be on your test. Uh, a magnet created when current flows through a wire coil. A magnet created when current flows through a wire coil. Well, that there is an electromagnet. Uh, we said that um, a lot of junkyards have that. They have the wire comes down, and it's just a big coil. It's just a great big huge coil, and the wire comes out, and current goes through it, around it, and back out. And there's this electro or magnetic field that's created by that. A long coil of wire with many loops combined fields create greater total strength. Well, that would be um, a solenoid. Right? A solenoid. Uh, I've got a long wire, and if we take this long wire then and loop it, we're going to get a solenoid. Property of having two distinct poles or opposite ends. Right? Well, that means it's polarized. It's got a north pole and a south pole. And that's our example up here. We've got a magnet with two um, distinct poles. That's polarized.